Hi and welcome back. Let's talk about PDM, Python Dependency Manager. What is it? It is a modern Python package and dependency manager supporting the latest PEP standards. Think of it as PIP or poetry to install dependencies. In terms of package dependency management, what is the problem? These tools like PIP and requirements.txt lack robust dependency resolution, often leading to version conflicts and dependency hell. What is this? Well, suppose you install package A, and package A has a subdependency, which is package C. Then you install another dependency called package B. And package B also depends on package C, but it requires a different version. Suppose package A requires that version C is version 2 or less. And suppose that package B requires that C is version 3 or greater. Then you will have a conflict because it won't know what version of C to use. So this is called dependency hell. Well, the solution, in this case, it might not have a solution, but all of this process of agreeing on what version to use is called dependency resolution. And PDM uses the standard PEP 5.17 and 5.18 to build system and resolve dependencies more effectively. It ensures the right versions of packages are installed while avoiding conflicts. In terms of environment isolation, what is the problem? Managing different project dependencies on the same machine can lead to version conflicts, especially if you are not using a virtual environment. So PDM natively supports isolated environments using tools like VENV or Conda. And this avoids polluting the global Python environment and ensures projects remain independent. And as we'll see, it creates a folder called .venv, which isolates all of the dependencies for the specific project. In terms of simplified project management, these tools, like traditional tools, require additional configuration files like setup.py, requirements.txt, pip files, etc., which can be redundant and hard to maintain. But PDM uses a single project, a single file, sorry, called pyproject.txt. TOML. And it stores metadata in this file. It also stores dependencies, build instructions, and all of these is uh, recommended by this standard PP621. And this reduces clutter and lines with modern Python standards. In terms of dependency specification for multiple environments, developers often need to manage dependencies for different environments. For example, you will need uh, dependencies only for development, only for your testing environment, and obviously dependencies for your production environment. So PDM supports separate dependency groups, dev, test, and prop, in this pyproject.tumble file. And this ensures environment-specific dependencies that are clearly defined and easily managed. In terms of improved compatibility with Python, with modern Python standards, Older tools like, like PIP and setup tools may not fully support modern standards like the ones I already mentioned, but PDM is built around these standards. It tries to comply with all of these uh, PEP standards. That ensures compatibility and leverages the latest Python ecosystem improvements. That is great. In terms of better UX DX for developers, so remember DX stands for uh, developer experience and UX for user experience. What is the problem that command line interfaces for tools like PIP and virtual uh, ENB are not always intuitive or integrated, but PDM provides a unified and user-friendly CLI for managing dependencies, environments, and builds in a single tool. In terms of cross-platform compatibility, what is the problem? Managing dependencies across different operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, 
can lead to issues due to system-specific packages. But PDM, a streamless dependency resolution, ensures consistent installations across platforms by locking dependencies precis precisely in PDM lock. This also ensures reproducible builds when you are working in an integrated CI CD environment. Okay, but I have to be like 100% honest here. So the tool that is most used is right now, 2024, 2025, um, Poetry. That's the dependency manager that is being more used in the Python community. Then there is pipenv. And then you have this new tool called Rye, which is built in Rust, and then you have PDM. And well, there's another one also called Hatch. Well, I've used all of this, and I reached the conclusion that PDM is the best one. That's why I am recording this video talking about PDM. So if we go to pdm-project.org, you will see this is the official site for PDM. And this is the text that I put as is in the presentation. You can see the feature highlights, simple and fast dependency resolver, mainly for large binary distribution. This is true. I have experienced that in poetry, that's a little bit um, slow, but in PDM, it's extremely fast. It complies with these standards that I also mentioned in the presentation. It has a flexible and powerful plugin system, user scripts like in NPM, where you can define scripts. And it can also install Python versions. It, 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 it is useful also for installing different Python versions. And it has this opt-in centralized installation cache like PNPM. So this is the most, um, the tool that most resembles to NPM in my opinion. That's, it's, that's why it's so great. So PDM requires Python 3.9 or greater to be installed, but it works on multiple platforms, including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Um, but you can still use it on lower Python versions, but it requires more stuff. So in order uh, to install it, you just have to copy this command if you're using Linux or Mac. And if you are using Windows, you can still uh, install it by using PowerShell. Okay. You can also install it with Rue, but I would recommend you to install it with the Corel. Okay. What else? If you want to update PDM, you just have to run this command, but don't worry, the terminal will um, recall what is the command when there is a new update available for PDM. And if you didn't like it, well, again, it's pretty simple to uninstall it. You have the uh, command here for Linux and Mac and for Windows, you have this. Okay, so let's start using the PDM tool. So first of all, you need to install a Python version and PDM allows you to do that, which is awesome. So if I type pdm python install dash dash list, it will show me all the available Python versions I can install. So suppose I want to use the latest one, which is 3.13.0. I'm going to say pdm python install 3.13.0. And I think I already have it installed. That, that's why it was so quick. And this is the executable Python binary. So when I install a new PDM project, I can use that Python version. So let's go to the 000 underscore PDM folder. And here I'm going to type PDM in it. So I, this is these are all of the Python versions I have uh, installed. So I'm going to only look at these ones that say PDM. So this is the one I just installed. These 3.13 are also valid, but they are from Homebrew, so for my from my Mac. Um, this is option two, so I'll type two here, click, uh, and then it will 
ask me for other metadata like the project name, the project version, if I want to build this project for a distribution, I would say no. What is the license, the author name, the author email, which Python uh, version it will require, etc. So all of that information is going to be stored in this pipe project. So all of that metadata is going to be stored here. Um, I'm also going to create a .gitignore file because I don't want this .pdm Python to be there because this is very specific to my computer. I also don't want this .venb folder to be there. So I will go and uh, you can search for python.gitignore template and this is the official github template and if i type this uh not not here but in the gitignore if i put that here you will see that um this pdm python is going to be ignored as well as the as this the benb folder and this pycache as well okay now i can add dependencies so let's say i want to add pandas so pdm add pandas will add it to the prod um let's say the prod um dependencies right so okay now pandas is installed and this pdm.log will lock all of the sub dependencies that pandas uses like six so you can see six is a sub dependency that um, is fixed to this 1.17.0 version, right? And if I want to add a dev dependencies, then let's say I want to add matplotlib, then I add this dash dash dev flag, and it will add this dependency to the dev dependency group. So this is not going to be installed in my production environment making you know um i i will not install dependencies that i don't need in production if i want to remove let's say pandas it's just pdm remove pandas and the same if i want to remove uh, matplotlib then remove matplotlib dash dash dev and that's it that's everything you will probably need uh, in order to start a project with PDM. I highly recommend this tool because it's the best one among those other options. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. Well, I hope you like it. Start experimenting with PDM, start using it, and you'll see it's very, very good. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.